Sean Hagen stepping up now. It's the first one on, no problems. Remember these stones, 120, 40, 50, 70 and 80. First two up there. One of the iconic events in the strongman circuit. Sean Hagen's catchphrase, he always comes out with his mass moves mass. And he's certainly going to have to do that here. There's the next one. Down to the final one now. They always put glue on their hands. Give themselves a bit of extra grip on these stones. And you can see him just manipulating that now. The last one as we approach the minute mark. Is it going to be a step too far? Yes, it is. Sean O'Hagan will finish there. Now Stefan Solvi Pedersen. Who's down in 10th place. Best he can hope for really is either 8th or 9th place, depending on how he does here, but that slip won't help him. First one up. Now he moves on to the 140 kilo stone. Now 150. The weight's going up, the height getting lower. Now he's down to the final one. Will he get it on there? O'Hagan failed before him. He's trying to make those hands a bit more sticky. The last Atlas stone, which will complete his weekend here in Holland. Trying to lift it high, but he's not going to do it. He'll finish there on four stones as well. Now Kelvin de Reuter. He was in the top three, but he's fallen away a bit now. He said that his weaker events were coming. Trying to finish strongly here on the Atlas stones. And the first one is up there. Plenty of support for the Dutchman. There goes the next one. Just two more stones left. And he needs some more glue on his hands here. So he gets some help pretty quickly. But needs to keep going. Friends and family watching in the crowd. One final push this weekend from Calvin de Reuter. There goes number four. That's 170. Can he do the 180 kilo stone? It's been tough so far. Will he be able to get it up there? Onto that smallish podium. No. A shake of the head from De Reuter. And he bows out as well with four stones up there. Now Luke Herrick. He's had a couple of injury issues today. Going for one final time here on the Atlas Stones. We'll wait to see whether he'll be able to do all five. Takes his time after number one. Did have that knee problem. All about the upper body strength being employed here. Two on top. He really has to be careful. He was talking earlier about the sportsman in him coming out wanting to compete all the time, maybe at the expense of his fitness. There's no point in doing himself an injury here. Eric probably out of contention for a spot in the top three. But those World Series ranking points, all important. There goes another for Herrick as we approach the minute mark. I think he'll finish there. Not looking comfortable, Luke Herrick. And I think he tells the referee that he's had enough. Now Dennis Colrus. Sitting in sixth place after the first five events on 40 points. Senvitsky ahead of him on 42, Baggett on 43, Kurek then on 46 and a half. 
It is a tough ask. But Corus is a strong guy. We're still waiting for someone to get all five stones up there. Will he be the first? The German talks a good game. Can he perform here in the final event? He's looking okay at the moment as that fourth stone goes up there. One more now to complete the quintet. Here he goes. I think he's going to do it, you know. Dennis Kohlroos gets it up there. 180 kilos on top. A bow for the watching crowd. A terrific effort there from Dennis Kohlroos. Now Sebastian Kurek. He's in third place in the overall standings at the moment on 46 and a half points. Six points behind Alex Murnan in second. Back at three and a half points behind him. He'll be hopeful that he can stay in the top three. There goes the next stone. Good like a fitness teacher day to day. His students will no doubt be watching this, seeing how he performs on the big stage after he professes to them all week. Correct himself only weighs 140 kilos, having to lift three stones more than his own body weight here. A huge stream as that one goes up. Just over a minute. And he's got one more to go. Will he be able to do it? A shake of the head. Nothing left from him. Who is in second place at the moment. He finished third in the Dutch stage of SCL last year. Here he goes now. He he's going to get all five stones up there. A bit slow with the first, but he's onto the podium with it now. There's number two. One last exertion here for Alex Moonen this weekend. Desperate to win this stage in his own country. It's not going to be today. One more stone to go as he tries to rev up the crowd here for one last push. This weekend may well take some recovery. We're going to Finland for the next stage. Surely, Moonen finishing up here in Holland. On it goes. He promised all five stones and he delivered. But Danis Zagaris next. The man who's looking to win the title here. And a decent time. We'll see him over the line. As long as he doesn't mess up. He had that huge lead coming into this event of ten and a half points. Only an injury really would stop him from here. He's got the first two up there. Skerish, who's done this so many times on the SCL circuit. A former world champion. Third place in the world finals in Mexico last year. Behind JF Caron and Matthias Belsack. Belsack not here today. And Zagaris now revving up the crowd for this final stone. His last act of this weekend. A title winning weekend for Danis Zagaris. He will be taking the maximum World Series points as he has a laugh and a joke with the referee. One final Atlas stone here for this titan of a competitor from Latvia. Danis Zagaris rolls it onto the top.